turn now to the top drummer from one of the most popular bands of all time, turning a tragedy into an opportunity and helping veterans along the way. ABC's Phil Lipoff now with Def Leppard's Rick Allen. For more than 40 years, Rick Allen has been the drummer of one of the best-selling rock bands of all time with mega hits like Pour Some Sugar On Me. And he's done it with just one arm, a remarkable story that began in the 80s. Rick joined Def Leppard when he was just 15. By the time he was 21, the band was a huge success. And then you buy a Corvette. Ah, yeah. New Year's Eve 1984 would change the course of Rick's life. The crash happened fast. It was a violent rollover. As the car rolled, the seatbelt came undone. And the seatbelt took my arm as I was flying out through the car. His right shoulder broken, his left arm gone. But from his hospital bed, Rick vowed to drum again. With new technology and the band's support, he did just that. Def Leppard went on recording and touring. So this is where it all happens. Today, with the pandemic putting the band on pause, we visited Rick and his wife Lauren at their California home. Rick shows us that technology and these foot pedals that allow him to sound like he did before the crash. The foot pedals sort of mimic what your left arm would do. Absolutely what it does. Playing, Rick says, is almost a meditative experience that he is all too happy to share. Another passion for the rock star is painting. There are big, majestic pieces, other rock stars, and smaller, more personal paintings like this one of his daughter. Rick sometimes uses his only hand as a signature. I nearly lost this one as well. So for me, it's just a reminder of everything that I went through. Rick's art sold at Wentworth Gallery, owned by Christian O'Mahony, who tells us, depending on the size of the piece, collectors are spending tens of thousands of dollars. Rick began donating some of that money to wounded warriors after a visit to Walter Reed Medical Center in 2006, where he met Norby Lara, a U.S. Army veteran who lost his arm in Iraq. It was um, really cool to be around someone who had been through something you know, very similar to myself, losing an arm, and still being able to smile. And Rick's wife, Lauren, is a big reason for that smile. Married almost 20 years, Lauren is a singer, a songwriter, and a teacher. Did you have fun? Yeah, that was great. Together, they run the nonprofit Raven Drum Foundation, a focus on veterans with head trauma and PTSD, both Rick still grapples with. When I met Rick, he didn't know he had PTSD. <laughs> and, and that was uh, something he was really struggling with. You know, it's something that we work on all the time to, to help build his resiliency. That resiliency on full display when Def Leppard was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He survived it and came out the other side stronger. A minute-long standing ovation by rock royalty. Lauren and the crowd both overwhelmed by emotion. If you could go back into that hospital room and tell the 21-year-old version of yourself one thing that would help him get through the rest of the hospital stay, what would it be? Yeah. <laughs> Your heart. One thing people tell me who know you that they admire about you most is your heart, your spirit. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Give me. All these years later, Rick is still healing, still working through the pain and emotion of the crash and all that followed. If you were given the chance to go back and not have that happen, would you? That's a really good question. Um, in many ways, I think it enabled me to grow in so many ways. It became a blessing, a responsibility, a responsibility to, uh, you know, to, to other people, to myself. And uh, I, I think that has become a, a huge gift. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, California. And certainly our thanks to Phil for that. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.